Yes, Kamala's gonna get victory, whether how many people like it or not. Last election, it was all in Donald's favor, right? So this year, it's definitely gonna work in Kamala's favor. The problem is Kamala needs to learn to listen to her intuition. That's clear indication that you have a shadow side you don't embrace. You're not supposed to read me. Well, <laughs> <the ad. laughs> this, this is the problem working with a psychic. Welcome to episode two of It's All in the Cards. My name is Damian DeNoble. I'm an immigration attorney. If you're on my channel, you know that. Today, we have my psychic paralegal, Seychelles, and we are going to be reading the future lives of Kamala Harris, and we might even take a look back at their past lives as well. Our superpower is not technology. It's psychic ability. Do you hear that? It's Seychelles on the old Zoom. Enjoy the episode, and I'll see you on the uh, other side. You know what I mean? Seychelles, it's good to see you. Likewise. How are you today? I'm doing good. Those uh, those couple of cases we worked on last week worked out. I think I think we solved those really good. Great to hear. Uh, the first person I want to talk to you about is uh, presidential candidate Kamala Harris. People have said in the past, hey, they don't know much about Kamala. And uh, that's that's been changing a little bit. But uh, I'm kind of wondering... And you tell me, you're shuffling. Are you shuffling? Can I yeah. ask the question? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, you have to shuffle. I have to talk while she shuffles and it goes on. Um, what does Kamala Harris's future hold? Okay, let's see. You know the drill. When you're ready, tell me when to stop shuffling. Okay, stop. Pick a pile, one, two, or three. I'll Probably pick three. Three. The first card that came out was the Queen of Wands. So this tells me she has a very superficial charm. If I'm not mistaken, she's a Scorpio and they have that. Um, they know how to bring out that scorpion sting when they need to, to kind of coerce you into whichever way um, they need you to go. Because this came out in the reverse, this tells me Kamala also kind of suffers from self-esteem issues. She's not as sure as herself as she presents. Like she presents very well, don't get me wrong. Like I said, Queen of Wands is someone who's a little superficial, who craves a bit of attention, but mm. has problems with self-esteem. She presents very well to the masses. Um, she's a very good front person, but does she believe everything that she says? Can she be a puppet to certain things? Yes. And that tells me with the seven of cups reverse, this is someone who gets distracted quite easily, who starts, but doesn't know how to commit. Like they know how to start something. They don't know how to finish it. The good part of this is she's very down to earth. That is what's going to win the masses over when it comes to this presidential election. Mm. She's going to give us that nurturing, caring vibe that everyone in society needs right now. The state of the world is in such a bad place when it comes to housing, food, things of that nature. She's going to be that mother bear that's going to come in and she's going to try to fix things. Is it going to be successful? Well, let's see. Can I, can I ask you something? Is it significant that you had two queens out of those cards? Because that seems to me pretty interesting, given that we're talking about the first potential queen, queen B of, uh, you know, the American democratic system, of course, democratically elected. And then why is it, wh when you say reverse, what's the significance of it being reversed is the so other question. When it's in, when a card is in reverse, it can talk about the negative connotations of a thing, person, or place. Mm -hmm. So um, you're kind of essentially looking at someone's shadow side. What is the side that they keep hidden from the world? What mm -hmm. is the side that they battle with internally? Mm, so we're, when we hear reverse, we're looking at this is the kind of internal picture that we don't see. That That's um, what's his what's his face? What's the psychiatrist? Young, Carl Young. Carl Young, right? He talked about the shadow self, which is this this person that you struggle your whole life to realize. And if you don't realize that person, then they can start eating you from the inside. That's kind of what that reminds me of. No, that's, that's a great depiction because your shadow self is something you can't deny. The problem is everyone has a light and dark side to them. If you deny your dark side, how can you embrace your light side? Because essentially you have to go through the darkness to get to the light. So that shadow part of you, uh, quote unquote, excuse my French, the asshole part of you, that douchebag, that person is very much alive just as well as the light person. It's almost like the white devil and the red devil arguing with each other. Mm -hmm. They both have to learn how to coexist. That's what makes you you. Just like Damon, you have a light and a dark side. I'm pretty sure no. there's a side to you that no one knows outside of this camera. Oh, um, no, I tell everybody how much I hate certain things. 
I, I'm like, we're playing basketball. I'm going to be an asshole now. I'm like, you, if we're friends, we can't play basketball together. I'm going to yell at you. I mean, an awful thing. So see, that's clear yeah. indication that you yeah. have a shadow side you don't embrace because you're trying to tell me how much of a douchebag you are and how open and transparent you are. And those yes. most times are the people that are hiding the most. <laughs> you're not supposed to read me. Well, <laughs> this, is, this is the problem working with a psychic. I'll tell you how it is. So you listen. Know, I don't think you're wrong. I don't Listen, think you're wrong. Let's get back to the reading because I okay. have good cards. But okay. um, three semi-good cards. You have the six of wands that came out when we asked, what is the future, right? Okay. High priestess in reverse, the fool in reverse. Yes, Kamala is going to get victory, whether how many people like it or not. It could be by default. It could be by some weird, this year, the... the um. The polls work in our favor. You know, yeah, last, yeah. Year, last election, it was all in Donald's favor, right? So this year, it's definitely going to work in Kamala's favor. The problem is Kamala needs to learn to listen to her intuition. She needs to tap into her shadow side and learn to transmute that energy for the greater good. If she does not, she will repeat the same presidential mistakes that past presidents have done. And what we want her to do is to blaze her own trail, not to make the same mistakes as her predecessors. Listen, we have a third queen on the board, which is yeah. the Queen of Cups. This is Kamala showing up in her own reading. She is a water sign. Can someone just verify, if I'm not mistaken, she is a Scorpio. Her birthday is October 20th, 1964. Oh, she's a Scorpio. Um, like I said, she just showed up in her own reading and in the reverse. So again, as much of that down to earth person that you're going to see in the beginning, yeah. let's go back to the first queen that was reversed, the queen can of I, Can I ask a question? I don't, if I don't understand, probably some people, we're going to have some fans that do understand, but what does it mean that she showed up in her own reading? I'm sorry to slow you down, but just so I- Queen of sure. cups. Cups represent water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Like I said, with the first queen that showed up, which was the queen of wands in reverse, with her showing up in the reverse in her own reading, that beginning down to earth, down to earth, resourceful person that we right. are going to grow to love in the beginning is not who we're going to have at the end of this um, presidential term. This election is going to call on her mental strength her strong communication skills. And as we can see, she can talk you down in a debate without mm -hmm. using too much rhetoric, which is going to be a plus for her. If she leans on that, again, this is not going to, this taking on this big endeavor is not going to come without its own caveats. Again, it's all centering around Kamala honestly and wholeheartedly being able to check herself. When I say being able to check yourself, you have to be able to look in the mirror and know that there are some decisions that you're going to have to make that's going to go against your moral code. Is she going to be able to do that and be transparent with herself? By all means, lie to us, the American people. Just don't lie to yourself. Because a, a leader that lies to themselves can't truly be a leader. Right? Mm -hmm. No, that's right. That's right. Okay, let me ask you, what's a potential? Okay, so uh, big thing is happening, right? Uh, big war in the Middle East is brewing. What is a, you know, th that's a Queen of Cups situation where uh, maybe water has to be poured on the fire, and the Democratic again, Party has been. Yeah. When it comes to these wars, again, not making the same mistakes as her predecessor, is the actual goal to keep throwing money at a bad situation. What is the actual resolution at this point? Can she yeah. keep the resolution? Throwing money at the at the problem to put a Band-Aid over doesn't help. We can't um, withdraw from Afghanistan twice and you can't kill Gaddafi twice. There you go. Right, so, so what do we do? Um, a lot of this is gonna depend on her choices. Yeah. She has the lovers in the reverse, the death in the reverse, and the five of pentacles in the reverse. We're going to start with the lovers. The lovers is about partnerships, mutual partnerships, mutually beneficial partnerships. The lovers in reverse tells me she's going to make a lot of bad choices in her cabinet. Um, who she chooses to put there, who she thinks belongs in a position. She needs to really rethink those choices. The death card in the reverse is right back. We should have picked Shapiro, to be honest. Huh? She probably should have picked Shapiro for vice president, to be honest. I like Tim Waltz. I'll mess with Tim Waltz, but... It should have been Shapiro. We would have won Pennsylvania. That's what that tells me. Her cabinet. Sorry. Sorry I'm just okay. commenting. Okay. The, the reverse with the fool in the reverse tells me 
Again, she's going to make a lot of foolish, gullible choices, but it's her first try. She has to be allowed mistakes. The thing is, her fear of change and tried and true methods that have not worked that she wholeheartedly believes in, this is where we're going to see Kamala's growth. We're going to see if she's going to unlearn some things that she needs to when it comes to the American justice system, for one. And, excuse me. And is she going to exert her power to make that change that we all have been looking for, too? Now, the five of pentacles in reverse, this tells me she's not going to ask for much help. She's going to try to be superwoman. She's going to try to do a lot of things on her own. And again, a lot of impulsive. And, and this is the fool card that I keep showing you, the fool card in reverse. I keep hearing he did it once. He can do it again. As much as we want to know she has this in the, in the basket, as much as we want to feel that way, as much as the numbers, the campaign dollars, everything adds up to it. Donald may pull a wool out of his hat. Mm. It may be a very thin hair, but don't ever think that it can't happen. Now, the King of Wands popped up for her. This tells me her masculine. Now you have the Queen of Wands in the reverse, but the King of Wands in the upright. The significance of that and her getting both in her reading today tells me. So the King is upright while the Queen is, is in the reverse. reverse in front of the King. Correct. Where we need her to stand up and stand out is where her King of Wands energy is going to definitely come in. Her bold leadership, her willingness to motivate others. So my question is, is there something in the past, perhaps multiple past lives, if she had multiple past lives of Kamala Harris, that gives us some insight on why she might be so uh, surface level on the outside, but have this really strong potential uh, shadow that comes from um, the reverse um, queen of wands. You know, can something in her explain in her past life explain that duality that she holds um, for us? And um, you can stop shuffling now. Okay, two cards popped out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Heyo, what do we got? So quick, quick debriefing. Yes, ma'am. We are currently in timelines that are combining. They're mm -hmm. joining together. Yep. Um, like twins. Your past, your past lives and your present lives are the, 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 the veil is very thin between the two realms right now. Mm -hmm. So there may be times everyone in the collective may be feeling some form of deja vu, especially with the eclipse energy with the full moon that we just experienced this past week. Um, just know timelines are conjoining. So there are themes from your past life that are going to pop up that is going to have to do with your present day. For Kamala, she got not only execution, but she got a healer. So Ooh. this tells me. Two of her past lives, either, all right, when it came to the execution, she was either the executioner, she was executed, she was a snitch, or she was a witness. Now, if we look back in her past um, time as an ADA, she caught a lot of flack for some of her sentencings, right? Which makes sense with the execution card. In this lifetime, she identified as a sibling. She endured a domestic abuse. Her faith was agnostic or atheist. Um, she was located in Northern Europe. She died by fire. Hence, go back to the original reading when I said she must have fire in her chart. So mm -hmm. there's something, some type of passion, some type of, again, quote unquote, fire that ignites her to keep her going as passionate as she does. That so, tells me she could have been like, a, she could have been like some sort of leader heretic. Right? So wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, okay. I don't have the power. You have the power. Oh, you just hit the nail on the head. Her lesson in this lifetime was leadership. What is she now stepping into? Leadership. And she's going against the grain because she's the first woman, first black woman, first South Asian woman. And uh, she's she's cutting. She's trying to do something no one has ever done. What did I say in the reading? Is she going to exact the change that we need? So I find it... No coincidence that she came out as a healer in the second past life. She could have either been an herbalist, a doctor, a midwife, or a faith healer. Faith healing happens in presidency because, again, we have faith in this person as a leader. And a lot of people hang on their word. 
I'm not one of them, but there are a lot of people where they hold the lay of the land in the palm of their hands. So in this timeline, she identified as a child during the Viking age. Um, she was located in Western Europe. Her faith was pan pantheistic or animistic. She had a slave or concubine type of love and her lesson to learn was accountability. Her trauma was slander and she died by a broken heart. And what did I say was going to happen to her at the end of the presidency? She was going to be drained. She's going to be drained of energy. And she was going to be very different. She was going to she's she was going to be in her cup element, which was going to be very different than what she started at, which was a reverse queen of wands. And she was going to be there's going to be a no, king of wands energy. Right next to the queen of wands who was lying down. And the king of wands and the queen of wands are going to come together. Final message on Kamala. Yeah. If she if she plays her cards right. If she picks the right people, and especially if she listens to her intuition, this can be a presidency that's going to be talked about for decades to come. It may be a one and done. It may be a once in a lifetime type thing, but it is 99.9% .9 going to happen. But again, with Donald and his sorcery and magic that he likes to work, we never know what's going to happen in the end. So just keep your, your toes, your fingers, everything crossed that whatever mojo that he's working her god is bigger than that and can send it back to sender and put this country on the right track that's good amen to that that's good i want to see the future of a much maligned often misunderstood but often perfectly uh understood man named elon Musk. Not only is he in isolation right now, but something is ending. You ever hear that old adage that sometimes children pay for the parents' sins? That's what's happening. There is a lot going on right now. And the fact that, oh, 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 oh. 